You don't have to be a rocket scientist to understand this. This might be an exception. <laughs> All right, you guys, without spoiling anything, here's what I'll say. In Interstellar, we follow Matthew McConaughey, who was boosted up into orbit to look for a new habitable planet because Earth is dying. Now, going into Interstellar, you guys, I was so excited. This was my most anticipated movie of the year, you guys. And walking out of this movie, I just witnessed one of the greatest space exploration movies, like, ever. This movie is phenomenal. Now I get it, there are people who are all over the board on this movie guys, but I'm on the train wagon to Nolan fanboy because this movie was incredible you guys. I was just so struck by the story, by the acting, by the visuals, by the complexity of it all, and also just the massive ambitious scope that is of this movie you guys. Plus underneath it all there's so many great things that's going on here. First of all, Hans Zimmer's score in this movie is fantastic. Matter of fact, this is my one of my favorite Hans Zimmer scores, like, ever. This is so good. I love the organ music. Also, Christopher Nolan's direction is fantastic. It's crisp. It's clean. You know, everything that's going on. I always love that about Nolan. Um, the acting is phenomenal. Matthew McConaughey, Anne Hathaway, Michael Keaton, Jessica Chastain all give great phenomenal performances, but I don't know who the actress is who plays the younger version of Jessica Chastain. She was my favorite character, and she knocks it out of the park in this movie. She was just phenomenal. She had me crying in moments. She had me just loved, loved her character in this film. Now, there is this one part of the movie that might be a little too much for some people. For me, it was like diving into heaven. I was just so into this moment. You know, the whole final act delves into some serious sci-fi aspects and for some it's gonna lead to them driving off into confusion land. And for me, I actually kind of dug it. You know, so many movies when they get complex and things start to get confusing, they have to pull it back, which means they're pulling back from the story and what's go and the emotions and what's going on to go to the whiteboard and explain to us casual moviegoers what's going on. So you know that that phrase, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to like this or understand this or something like that. Well, this time you just might. But I like the fact that the movie was smarter than me and it didn't try to dumb me down in order to explain it. So yes, I came off confused. I walked out not understanding this and this and this. But I appreciated the way the movie unfolded that and unraveled that. For some people, it's going to be too much and they're not going to be able to handle it all. But for me... I loved it. So you guys, as the score goes, I'm going to give Interstellar a perfect score of 5 out of 5. This is a Christopher Nolan masterpiece. So you guys, have you seen Interstellar? What did you think of this movie, you guys? Um, it's a very talked about movie going on right now. So make sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And until next time, you guys, I'm the Slasher Movie Reviewer, and you guys have just been slashed.